So when you received the letter, was that your, um, the genesis of you beginning to, to do this work that we're seeing on the screen right now? And it's, to be clear, it's it, your it, blood. It's not the Pen Pels blood, it's not Raiders blood, it's your blood. That, that... No, because um, when, when uh, he did write that, I responded to the letter and I asked him, and I never in a million years would have thought he would have been offended by this, to send me some of his hair to put in the painting so there was a part of him in there as well as his pen pal. And for some reason, he was very offended by that. I never heard from him directly or talked to him on the phone. It was all through his, his pen pal, who ironically enough, was married either to a retired policeman or a, a policeman. I know she was, her husband is a, a cop, which strangely enough. Um, but anyway, so she told me that he was very angry well, I told her that I was going to do the painting anyway because it would go well with that letter. And uh, and then she cut ties to me. I've never heard from her again. And, and of course, Dennis left on a sour note. But, hey, it is what it is. Well, I, I didn't... So, and, and by the way, you're, the audience should know, Ryan, he's not the first person that you have painted in blood. You have done a lot of serial killers in blood. Can you give me the list of the, the serial killers you painted? Um, well, I mean, a lot of them are, are in my own blood, and then I'll frame them with a piece of memorabilia from the person, like a signature or something. But I've painted uh, uh, John Wayne Gacy, who I was pen pals with in my museum. I have quite a few pieces of his artwork. Um, Richard Ramirez, Ed Gein. Um, How about Dahmer? Mary Bell, uh, Jesse Pomeroy. I mean, a lot of them are just done, though, in my own blood. Not all of them that I have actual contact with. I was looking at the um, list. I, I, is, it, is Dahmer in there as well? Dahmer is in there. Um, I, I did it for a, a book project. Somebody was right there. They called it the Dahmer Files. Oh, I forget the artist's name off the top of my head, um, uh, the author. But anyway, uh, I contributed the artwork, and then I had a letter from uh, Dahmer that he had written to one of his pen pals, and I framed those together for my own private museum you know, to, to show off. So t talk to me a little bit about the, the, the Shrunken Head project. I've got to be honest with you. It is not my cup of tea. Um, it is it's really, really creepy. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it does what you intend. What artists intend is to evoke emotion, regardless of what the emotion is. For me, it was, ah! Um, and it was kind of scary looking and freaky looking. And then I read more about it. And it's like really controversial as well. So talk to me about making this, this shrunken head it, using the ashes of, of Charles Manson in the eyes right. and the, the gray hair of Charles Manson incorporated into the hair. Right. Well, well, Terry Barr uh, actually ended up on my ra radar. I went to a bar called the Golden Tiki in uh, Las Vegas. And it's just filled with celebrity shrunken heads but they didn't say who made them. They were just everywhere, at least not that I saw. So I had to do a little research. And as it turned out, I actually had a shrunken head gaff that he made 10 years ago. It wasn't a celebrity one, but it was like, so I knew who he was and I kind of found him through some internet research and got a hold of him. And then he did a, uh, a shrunken head of myself and my fiance. And I was just so impressed with his work. And I, what I like to do with Charles Manson's ashes, Charlie was a friend of mine. He and I used to talk on the phone. Um, and uh, when I started doing the artwork of him, uh, you know, I did 10 paintings using his ashes after he passed away and uh, his hair in those paintings. And I, um, and I, I got to the point where I've done enough paintings where I like, if I see artists that do work that I like incorporating that, I want a whole collection of Charlie being used, making these memento mores uh, using his remains. And I like to think in 50, 100 years when I'm gone, all the artists are gone, there's going to be these collections out there of, of pieces that have a little bit of Charlie Manson in it. And I get it. It's distasteful to some people. Uh, you know, the infamy uh, definitely evokes different emotions in different people. But um, it definitely I, does get let, an emotion. Get it does. Thoughts. And let me ask you just one question to wrap it up, I, because I think it's important. There will be some people watching this who are very upset. And they say, how is it you could celebrate these terrible people, mm -hmm. these poor victims and family members mm -hmm. whose lives have been ever, forever destroyed? And here we are memorializing them with, with art and paintings and blood and ashes. And how do you, what mm -hmm. would you answer them if they had the ability to face you through this program and say, Oh, oh, oh obviously, I, I definitely don't condone any of the crimes or any of the violence. I'm not a violent person myself. Um, it's like anything else. It's like a true crime podcast or, or books written on there or any form of artwork or media. People are interested in it, and I'm interested in it. So that's my reason behind doing it. It's by no means condoning 
any of the crimes. As a matter of fact, it, it, it's terrible that it, that crimes, war, anything dark gets that kind of attention. But the reality is it does. Yeah, and, I, I think uh, you make a good uh, point. Um, how how right. is it that anybody can watch a true crime documentary and at the same time complain about a piece of art um, that that right. you know creates the same the same thing? So I see your point. Thank sure. you for being on and sharing this bizarre story about BTK and then of course about the the Charlie Manson um, shrunken head too. It's all very odd, but uh, you you got you got your purpose fulfilled with me. You definitely evoked a lot of emotion. Ryan Almighty, thanks for being on. Thank you for having me. I do really re uh, appreciate the respectful interview, and, and thanks for showcasing what I do. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.